Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is John. Thank you for coming back. I really like when people come back to my channel. So today we will be, well we, I mean I, I will be sewing my first ever t-shirt. My friend Angela, she managed to get me 11 meters of this gray fabric. I've got 11 meters, actually like too much fabric and I want to use it. So I started using this fabric for this t-shirt. So I've actually never made a t-shirt before, but I think this turned out pretty well. Like, I've got the, this thing, whatever it's called, new neckline, and I've got like seams and stuff, which I think is cool. Oh my gosh, I'm so not a sewer sewer, but I thought it was really nice to learn how to make my first ever t-shirt, which I hope none of you guys have seen me do before because I haven't, but yeah, enjoy. Okay, so how did I make this t-shirt? So, first step is, um, I kind of wanted to challenge myself a bit so everyone knows that the normal t-shirt has um these sleeve lines and i actually don't really like these i wanted it to be completely just one panel so i found this shirt that i've been wearing for a while it's from helen steins but it has no sleeve lines which i think is really cool and it's like the perfect fit on me so i took this and used it as a pattern for making the t-shirt instead of getting the pattern online because um, I don't actually know how to read those pattern stuff online like they tell you to measure stuff but I don't actually know how to measure so I just took an actual t-shirt that I like and started from there so first step was um, to create the pattern so what I did was I took this t-shirt and then I folded it in half like this because it's perfectly symmetrical and then I laid it on my I laid it on my fabric and then I cut four pieces of this shape because my plan was to sew a seam right down the middle and the back because I like that detail effect in the front which I think is really cool and then there would be no um, seam lines over here because my friend Sherry told me that um, when it comes to sewing the sleeves there's a lot of tendency to mess it up so if you just cut your pattern with the sleeve in you just have to sew across the top and the bottom which is a lot easier because if you look at this t-shirt see how there's a bit of a curve if you're not um, very precise in sewing there's a tendency to bunch up a bit more fabric on the seam so your sleeve is a bit more wonky so by doing it the way that I did it it makes your sleeve uniform on both sides which is really nice so after tracing the pattern, what I did was I cut it out roughly and then I dumped it in my sewing machine and then just sewed a few straight seams, um, good sides facing each other. So that the ugly seam is on the inside of the shirt, which is very cool. And then for the next step is, um, what did I do? Oh, for the next step what I did was I sewed the... I sewed the neckline of this t-shirt. So originally the neckline looked like this. So you've seen the video, I'm sewing just a straight tube of fabric and then I would sew it to the, um, the opening of this t-shirt, which is pretty cool. Why do I keep saying it's pretty cool? Everything is pretty cool. But yeah, okay, so next part is um, I really like folding up my sleeve. Oh, it's so lame. But I do like folding up my sleeve, so to make sure that the sleeve sits nicely on my arm, I took an exact measurement of my arm and then made it a few centimeters smaller because this cotton jersey fabric actually stretches quite a lot. So now it's a snug fit around my arm, and if I do get bigger, it just looks great. <laughs> it's so bad, but yeah. Yeah, that's really nice. And then um, I sewed it to the inside of my of my sleeve seam so that I could hide the hem because I don't want to have any exposed hems on this. Like I want everything to look quite clean and finessed, which is good because finesse is always nice. 
because I don't want people to think that I I want it to look like I made it. I want it to look professionally made, but I actually did make it. I mean, to me, this looks professionally made. Other people might clock me and say it looks different, but not too bad. The next step is um, so I was looking, I was wearing my shirt and I was like, oh, I don't actually really like the neckline of the t shirt because it looks very basic. And I wanted to try something cool. So I do like v necks as well, but I didn't want like a full v neck for this t shirt. So what I did was um, this is a mix between a crew neck and the v neck. So it's a crew neck all the way around and then it ends in a v neck, which I think creates a nice little shape illusion around my neck area. And I do wear necklaces or chains quite a bit and I think it will highlight that and maybe if I work out more and I have that chest line that will show up <laughs> that's so bad or if I get a tattoo it would be a nice little peekaboo moment but yeah so in order to do that what I did was um I laid my shirt flat out and then I took a pair of my fabric shears make sure you get fabric scissors not random scissors and then I just snipped off to an appropriate uh, depth this v-neck so that it would split out open and then what I did was I folded the corners in and then sewed it together so that it would create this v-line illusion which is not it actually wasn't that hard and then afterwards what I did was um I sewed the bottom hem of the shirt so if you notice, it's not the same, can you see it? It's not like the same length, because I do like the front being a bit shorter than the back. I mean, I think it's cool. And yeah, so I did that. I just folded it in, pinned it in place, and then I just pressed it a bit, and then I ran it through the sewing machine. And yeah, that is the shirt. It actually wasn't that hard. And I think by the time I finished, it was maybe midnight, and I started at around eight o'clock so four hours and me procrastinating is actually a pretty short amount of time to sew a t-shirt for the first time so not too bad good job me not too bad but yeah that was the t-shirt done i'm gonna go do some architecture work now probably and i think next time i might actually make a matching pair of pants for this like maybe pants of tassels or something because I've still got like in I've still got an excess of 10 meters of fabric so I might as well make something I'm deciding between this pair of pants and this pair I'm not sure which one I want to do but I think they're both pretty cool and it's summer coming up quite soon so I just want to make a nice matching outfit because this is the dark gray and I don't have any pants that like match this exactly so I feel like the best fit is to make a matching pair of pants in the same fabric go for that monochrome feel I might even make this a series like making a monochromatic outfit series but yeah that's it for today hope you guys enjoyed I hope you guys are getting your work done lockdown's a bit hard but yeah anyway also I just want to say before we begin the video thanks so much to all the new people that have come join the channel where is my camera I'm looking here but thanks so much to all the people that were joining my new channel joining my la 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 <laughs> thank you so much everyone that has joined the channel initially we were at 1k this was like a few months ago but now we are at 2k a little bit past 2k so we've doubled so fast and oh my god that's crazy but thanks so much for joining hope you guys stay enjoy the content and bye